Alberta's economy is booming. The population is growing. And so is the demand for housing. There just aren't enough skilled carpenters to keep up with Alberta's need for new houses. So what does this mean? Longer built times, missed deadlines, skyrocketing labor and material costs, and a decline in the quality of work due to the extreme pressure to get jobs done. So how do we fix this? FP Innovations, Canada's largest forest research and development institute, is looking for solutions, and their foreign tech division may have found one in prefabricated construction. Prefabricated construction means that part of a building, or even the entire building, is constructed in a factory and then assembled at a build site. Prefabricating in a factory offers many benefits, including weather protection. However, sometimes it makes more sense to prefabricate right at the job site using portable equipment. Prefab elements are in extensive use by the construction industry already. For example, almost all houses are built with roof trusses that were pre-manufactured before delivery to the job site. Prefabrication saves a lot of time for the construction crew. The next logical step is to use prefabricated wall panels or panelization to replace traditional on-site stick framing of the walls. Prefabrication is a growing trend in the U.S., Europe, and Asia. We've been uh, asking the industry the questions about, you know, why there is uh, uh, such a low uptake of prefab construction in Canada. There is a perception that these houses are less flexible and perhaps uh, more expensive. Uh, that is not the case. Once you really begin to produce lots of them, as you become familiar with the system, you take a lot of costs out. I think one of the misconceptions about prefab is that if the walls come to them as a pre-manufactured entity, I think stick framing crews are scared they're going to lose the money that they make on building their own walls on deck. Um, but I think what they don't realize is that because they're gaining build time by using prefabricated product, their volume is going to increase over the year. Orintec, in partnership with Habitat for Humanity Edmonton, the Government of Alberta, and Western Economic Diversification Canada, is conducting a side-by-side -side comparison of traditional stick framing and panelization. Our goal is to compare these two systems as objectively as possible and provide industry with credible data. They're building two identical triplexes side-by-side -side in Edmonton. Glynn Construction is building one triplex using the stick frame method and LTC construction is building the other using panelization. Foreign Tech will be measuring each team's man hours needed to build the triplex, the on-site waste they generate, and the amount of material they use for construction. This research project will give the construction industry credible data about these two methods so that builders can make an informed decision about the right framing technology for their business. There's resistance to any kind of new ideas as a general rule, and I hope this just goes, um, it just helps to promote uh, the industry to start thinking in new directions. I think it's going to be a good learning experience for a lot of people, for the Habitat people, for LTC, for uh, Link Construction. I think you know, we're all going to learn something from it. Let's get started. blew the whistle, we stood the exterior walls, and now we're just uh, wrapping it up, standing the interiors and then sealing up the exterior. We'll probably start the plumb and line aspect of it this afternoon and might even get into some floors, we'll see. By the end of the day, I'm hoping to have, well, most of my exterior walls up, hoping. Well, we're standing second floor walls and they're just starting the floor this morning. I don't want to brag. I'd say we're about two days ahead. They don't have to bend over all day long and they'll their uh, frames together. Prefab's framer friendly because it's easier on the body. It's a better system for the carpenters, work easier. 
You don't have to have experienced carpenters to just pick up walls. When the guys pull these walls off, they they just look at these numbers and then they look for the number on the floor and then they stand it accordingly. We can't get framers here in Alberta, not experienced ones anyway. So you have to train them from scratch and hopefully they stick around for a while. <laughs> I'd say we're maybe three days ahead of them at this point. When you look at the two buildings, they're standing second floor walls right now. Our main floor is completely back framed out and the stairs are in and, and they still have to do that. End of today we'll have the upper trusses stood and uh, ready for sheeting. We're at a stage now where we're making walls, so that'd be uh, the prefabbing part where they would make it up off the job site. Whereas if you see where we're at now, we're just bent uh, over all day long and just nailing walls together. Well, time is money. There's a lot of build days that you gain with uh, prefabricated systems. If you're doing 100 houses a year and you gain three days per house, it's a substantial amount of saving for you. The more a builder can build, the more he can sell. Glynn Construction isn't here today. Like most builds, there's been a delay. Material didn't arrive on time. The roof's just about done, and second floor is just about backed out, so a little bit of pickup work, and I think they have about an hour on the roof left, and we're done. LTC is gone and the material for the second triplex finally arrived. So Glynn Construction is back at work. Well, this morning when we got, we got here, it was raining. We were supposed to be lifting a, a roof. The crane comes, the crane can't get in to set up. It's too muddy. We now we have the trusses made up on the ground. We have to take a forklift and move them aside. Hopefully the crane can get in on a more solid ground so they can set up. They were uh, finished the sheeting, uh, putting on our dormers. The dormers are sheeted, we got a few things just tidy up, and we're finished. Finally, both builds are complete. Now, it's time to analyze the results. Delays caused by material delivery were excluded from the results to ensure fair comparison. In a relative comparison, panelized assembly clearly came out ahead, with a shorter build time by almost 40%. Lower on-site waste, with nearly 55% less lumber waste and 60% less sheathing waste, and virtually the same material usage, with the panelized system using only 2.3% more lumber but 1.8% less OSB. The results show that panelized builds take less time, use less man hours, and produce less waste, all of which means an improved bottom line. We really focus on keeping the waste down. When we're prefabbing, we're working on a table. It's a controlled environment. All of our materials kept really close to us, so if we need a small piece to go into a wall, it's right there. Whereas in the stick framing, those pieces might be on the other end of the deck, so a framer is less likely to walk to that end of the deck for a small piece. He'll just grab a whole new sheet and then cut piece he needs out of it. Prefab will also help contractors stay competitive during Alberta's building prices by requiring less experienced crews than stick frame. What we want uh, people in the industry to know about prefab is that it's, it's framer friendly, that it's construction friendly, and it, it increases production. There's just no two ways about it. Yeah, I think prefabbing myself is better than uh, stick framing is for getting work done quicker. Foreign Tech Research provides the concrete evidence that builders need to make an informed decision about stick framing and prefabricated wall panels.
The answer is clear. Prefab systems offer a viable alternative for builders trying to keep pace with the current construction demand in Alberta. First when I heard of prefab, I thought it was just BS. And now I'm being excited and seeing it. Like, uh, I think it's the way to go. Prefabrication is absolutely, hands down, the most efficient way to build. Um, hopefully it'll be, convince a lot of um, critics or skeptics that, that this is the way of the future. Uh, I, I think that anybody that isn't getting on board with it is going to be left behind.